Hey, welcome back to the last Remnant playthrough. We are doing Emma's quest, which is simply called A Date with Emma. We'll be going into the Numera Mines, at least I think that's how you pronounce it. And we'll be fighting the twin bosses, Namal and Niram. I probably butchered those words. Names. We're off to a great start. To me. So just in case you run into any enemies here, it's best to just keep Hawkeye equipped if you can. I fast forwarded this bit because honestly, traveling through these mines, at least this first zone, doesn't take a while, but it is rather slow. I'm just picking up the Commander's Rapier, which is a pretty good weapon if David will want to take it. So. Your allies will ask for items every time they have a stat up. So let's say we fight a boss and David has his HP increased. Well, after that battle, what will happen is we'll either go to the world map or we'll go to the town map and he will ask for, hey, can I have that rapier? And you'll say, yeah, sure. Okay. Oh yeah, so this little section, if you don't time it properly, then these little ghosty things will come onto your lift and you cannot run away from them. You have to fight, which is bullshit. Luckily there is a timing. Um, occasionally they'll slow down or they'll go really, really fast like here. I used to have a lot of trouble and only recently did I figure out a kind of a strategy to get past them safely without needing to reset. So for the upcoming fight, the boss has around 13k health, which is actually not too bad. What we're going to be doing is we're going to take Emma out of the party and let her tank and deal all the damage. Rush will do nothing but sit back and only heal her when, when necessary. And we're going to really, really hope that the boss doesn't decide, hey, I'm going to stop attacking Emma, I'm going to attack Rush now. Luckily, that doesn't happen. This is a... <clears throat> Pardon me. This is a much safer strategy than just having Emma in your party. Oh yes, disable her heals before you do this. So this is this is a much better strategy than just sticking Emma in your party and just attacking them together because they will crit you and it will hurt. This with this method, Emma has far more HP and far more defense. I believe her attack rating stays the same. But her having way more defense is a huge boost. So this is basically the fight. Rush is going to sit back and only heal her when she needs it. And we're going to really, really hope that Spark 5 does not crit Emma. Because it can happen and you can get a game over that way. Because after Emma's dead, the boss will go after Rush. And Rush is dead in like one hit because he only has around 300 health.
keep it together. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we will be doing some more side quests, unlocking a lot of towns, and collecting more money. So hopefully I will see you then. Bye-bye.